Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Ascent. Today I'm giving you guys another product review. It's been a little while and some people have been asking, where have they been? Uh, I kind of reviewed all my figures over there, so I mean I couldn't really make up any, so I had to buy more. Uh, but I did buy one to do a review today, and it's a figure that I don't have a figure of. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. It's Van Presto Dragon Ball Super Saiyan 3 Goku Sculptures Big Budokai 6 Volume 5. And it's 6.3 inches. It's a long title on Amazon. But that's what it says on Amazon. Straight from Ban Presto. And I'm in love with the figure because Super Saiyan 3 Goku's badass. Here's a little look at the box art in case you really care about that. But that's not really why you're here, is it? You're here to see the figure, which is honestly pretty good. It comes on stand. Uh... It was pretty tough to get it on the stand, I won't lie to you. Uh, as well, it's got like little separate little foot pegs to put on the stand. It's it's really a weird process, but you can see because he kind of stands up at an arc with his feet. Uh, the head as well was a little bit of a pain in the ass to get on, uh, but I like the look of this figure a lot. It's got like a little etched, etched in look in a lot of ways. You can kind of see it looks like it's scratched in uh, the colors. I kind of like that look. Very good quality, very good detail here. One thing I really like about this figure though is that you can kind of see like the hair, it like swoops in. It like swoops. You see that? It, like it's sweeping. It's not like straight, it's like waving in the wind. It's swooped in um, at an angle and I really like the look of that a lot. Very good job on the Super Saiyan 3 hair. A lot of different types of pieces in there. Um, not articulating, you guys know I don't really buy the, the figures that articulate. Not really how I go, I just like to, I, I don't move them around, I just simply prop them up over there and that's about it. And then you got those two little rubber ducks right there. Um, that's about all I do, I don't usually buy the ones that articulate. But on Amazon, this is about $27. And this is a newer figure, I think this came out fairly recently. But... It's definitely of good quality, especially for that price. I don't like to go super expensive on my figures, and I don't ever have a lot of stores to really get these figures at. You can kind of see on his shoulders, you can kind of see it looks like it's ripped almost. And I'm not sure if that's just because of the way they molded it out or not. Um, on both shoulders and inside of his shirt, it's got like tears on it. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, uh, because it is just Super Saiyan 3 Goku, right? I'm not sure if it's intentional, but I do like the look of those tears on there uh, as well. But, again, I like the figure, and I think that if you do collect Dragon Ball figures and you don't want to spend too much money, $27, you might even be able to get it for cheaper than that. I think that's a pretty good deal. And he's got this stand right here, which does work pretty good. He does stand on it very well. It's, it's interesting how the foot pegs here are separate, and you have to kind of snap them on. Although I do have a little trouble getting both his feet to go into these pegs all the way. He does stay on there well, but it just seems like the pegs don't... He doesn't fit into the pegs all the way, but you might be able to see on that foot there's like a slight gap. But on the other, on the other foot here, it's completely fine. Now that just could be, you know, whatever model I got. Um, regardless, like I said, it stands up perfectly. It has absolutely no issue standing up. And I have no problem putting him right in the front of my collection over there. Absolutely no shame. Very nice looking figure, especially for the price. Now, I want to one day get that Figure Art Zero EX. I had uh, that as, as a giveaway item a, a, quite a few months back when I was doing something for a company. Uh, we gave away that figure, and I kind of wish that I had gotten it. But regardless, this will have to do for now, but it's no Figure Art Zero EX. If you guys have seen that one, I'll put that on screen right now. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Let me know what you guys think of the figure. And, of course, I'll catch you later.